All right, so if you have arthritis pain and you use walking as your primary form of exercise, what if I told you you could be missing out on something big that could bring you pain relief? I wanna show you three simple exercises you can do to bring pain relief fast. Many times when people have arthritis or they have joint pain, walking is the primary form of exercise because it's enjoyable, because it's easy to do, and it usually doesn't flare up pain. But one of the biggest mistakes I see with people that use walking as their primary mode of exercise is that we don't get a lot of variety in our movements, which variety is key. Now, walking is a great exercise, don't get me wrong, but I want to show you just three simple exercises you can do to add to your warm up before you go for your walk. Because walking only works the muscles that are moving you forwards a little bit of backwards, but mainly it's working the fronts of your legs. So what happens is we end up neglecting some of those other muscles, especially the muscles in the backs of our legs and in our glutes. Those are super important to help manage knee and hip osteoarthritis or joint pain. So I'm gonna show you just three simple exercises that you can add to your warm up before you go for your walk to really help get those muscles moving as well. So go ahead and follow along and we're gonna get started. So the first exercise, I'm gonna show you the three exercises first and then we'll just run through what one round would look like. The first one is standing here and I want you just to, we're gonna do it on both sides so it doesn't matter, but I want you to stand on your left leg. Now, many times the muscles that move us side to side get weak because we don't move side to side very often. Especially when we're doing a lot of walking, you're just going forwards and backwards. So I want you to stand on that left leg. Get into an athletic stance, so just bend your knees a little bit and then just kind of stick your bottom back because we don't want to be forward. Sit your hips back. Now you're going to take your right leg and you're just going to tap sideways. Now if you don't, if you're standing up tall, you might not feel this working. So I really want you just to kind of bend down a little bit, really engage those glutes, keeping most of your weight in your left foot and you're just lightly tapping with that right leg. Usually you can do between about 20 and 30 repetitions because we really want to feel that leg start to fatigue, the one that you're standing on. So we're going to do this on both sides. So do 20 to 30 repetitions. I don't usually like to give a number just because I want to make sure you're hitting fatigue and not super concerned about the number that you're doing. If you can sit there and do 30, 40, and you're still feeling okay, you can make this harder by adding one of these resistance bands. So it's just one of these small circle resistance bands. And you can use a wall or a chair, but put it around your ankles. Just about maybe six to eight inches above your ankle. And, this, and you're going to do the same thing. Stand on that left leg, bend down into the athletic stance, and you're going to step sideways. You want to make sure though that you keep your feet apart or else the band is going to fall down. So step out, step in, step out, step in. And then you should really start to feel this a little bit more and you might not have to do as many repetitions. And then, like I said, same thing on the other side, stand on that right leg, step and then come back. So this one you might be able to do anywhere from 10 to 25 repetitions. And then it also depends on the resistance of your band. So that's the first one. So you can do it with a band or without. Now the second one. Okay, so what you're going to do is now we're going to stand on that left leg again. This one you may need to hang on to something. But what you're going to do is you're going to kick back and come down. Kick back. You're just pushing your heel back towards the wall that's behind you. 
Now, I do have some people that hang on to a kitchen counter, hang on to a stair rail with both hands, so that way you can really get a kick back. To make this harder, just keep it off the ground like I am right now. If I were you, I would recommend, if you can keep it off the ground while you're holding on to something, hold on to something. That's gonna be a little bit harder than putting it down each time. So same thing, now this is working the backs of our legs and our glutes. So we're just gonna kick back again, we wanna hit fatigue on that side. So this one, 20, to 30 repetitions. You just want to get some fatigue in those glutes. Again, you can add your resistance band, use a chair or something to put it on. This one feels a little bit different, but you're not going to be able to go back as far. But this one, you're just going to kick back just like this. Try not to bend over too far, but you're just going to kick back. And then you're gonna switch and just kick back. Try to keep that leg as straight as you can if you're using the band. If you're not, you can go ahead and bend, bend that leg into more of a kick back. Okay, so you can keep, stay on the ground. You can keep the leg up in the air or you can use your resistance band. So that's the second one. Now the third one is a balance exercise. So first, I want you to figure out if you can stand one foot in front of the other, no problem. If this is more challenging for you, this is where we're gonna stay. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna stand in this position. You should feel your ankles starting to work. Then you're just gonna alternate forward and backwards, moving your arms. Now, if this feels pretty easy for you, like I could stand here for you know two minutes and not have any difficulty, then I want you to try to stand on one leg and do it. So you can do this one of two ways. You can simply just stand on one leg, Or you can use your other leg as a kickstand behind you, just light, and then same thing. But I always tell people when you're figuring out a balance exercise, I want you just to find the stance where you can stand 10 seconds, no problem, just standing there. You want to make sure you're stable just standing there before you start to add in movement. So if you're good in the one foot in front of the other, then go ahead and just add in those arm movements. We want to try to stand here between 30 and 60 seconds. What this is doing is getting your ankles prepared and helping to strengthen your feet and ankles because a lot of times we get foot pain when you're walking for longer distances. And so this is going to help kind of prime that. If this is easy for you, like I said, Stand on one leg, see if you can stand there for 10 seconds. If you're, you know, kind of wobbling around and having a hard time, then go to that standing on one foot in front of the other. This is going to help you get to standing on one leg. Now, if you're standing on one leg but don't feel super stable, use that kickstand behind you. So just use your other foot behind you and then add in that arm movement. Again, 30 to 60 seconds and then switch. Ideally, I'd like you to run through these three exercises, two to three rounds. Three rounds would be better. If you're using the resistance band, you don't have to do as many repetitions. So I'm just gonna run through and show you a few sample repetitions of these three exercises so you can kind of see how it would go. So the first one, you're standing on that left leg and you're tapping out to the side. And we're going to do 20. And then stand on the other side. And we're going to do 20. Then find something to hold on to. And you're going to kick back. 
really squeezing that glute. And we're going to do 25. That one took 25. Now, back to the other side. And I want to try to match it with that same 25. So you're honestly just doing as many repetitions as you can until you start to feel that fatigue. And that's when you're going to do two more reps and then stop. Then that third one, so I'm just going to put one foot in front of the other. And then we're going to stand here moving your arms. I can feel my ankles working. So I'm going to stand here for about 45 seconds. That's when I really start to feel some fatigue. Now you're going to go to the other side. Same thing. One side might be a little bit harder than the other, and that's OK. If you have a hard time under fatigue keeping your balance, you can also just take your feet a little bit wider. But I do want this to be challenging. Always have something around you in case you need it, because we are challenging your balance. But I do want it to feel a little bit more difficult than just standing here, no problem. So these resistance bands are very cheap on Amazon. And I will actually put the link below in the comments. I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting one of, getting one of these or a pack of these because they are very versatile. You can do a lot of different things with them, especially working your hips. These are really good at working your hips. You can do some other things too, but for, us, for arthritis in general, especially lower leg and low back, strong hips are the key to management. So even for knee osteoarthritis, we have to have strong hips. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting one of these. And then you can add these three exercises into your routine. Once they feel easy without the band, then that's what I would recommend getting a band. But just starting out, I wouldn't go right to using the band unless you have been working out for a long period of time and exercise is not necessarily new to you. But if you have just been walking in things, then I would recommend trying these just without the band at first and then going and grabbing this band. All right, so go ahead and add these exercises before your next walk and let me know how it goes. If you watched live, go ahead and comment live below. If this was helpful for you, go ahead and comment and let me know below. And go ahead and just like this video and maybe share it with anyone who uses walking as their exercise that might benefit from this.